Hello and welcome to another episode of Coffee Fusion. This week we're going to look at dialing in your espresso machine to pull some great shots. So guys, I first approached this topic quite a few years ago now and I've got an old video on this, but I thought I'd update it a little bit and produce a nicer video on pulling great shots of espresso. So there are four main things that go into pulling a good shot of espresso and to uh, consistently dialing in. First of all, we have dose. And dose refers to just the amount of coffee that's going into your shot. Obviously you wanna keep this nice and consistent. Um, and these days a lot of people are weighing your dose so that you get the same amount of coffee going in every time. If you just have a little home machine, um, the best thing to do is come up with a consistent way of dosing your coffee. So maybe three quarter fill the basket, tap it down, um, overfill and then scrape across with a knife. But if you're in a cafe setting or perhaps you want to uh, take your coffee at home a little bit more seriously, grab yourself a set of scales because having a consistent dose will really help you uh, dial in your espresso. Once you've got your dose sorted, the next thing to do is make sure your distribution is even so that the amount of coffee that is in your puck is evenly distributed within the basket and then you want to tamp. Again, consistency is a big thing here, so um, make sure that you have the same routine for making sure that the amount of coffee in there is distributed evenly. And then when you tamp, you tamp nice and straight, straight down. But then the other thing is you tamp with the same amount of pressure each time. All of these little tips that I'm giving you lead towards a consistent extraction. So if you put the same effort going in, you get the same result coming out. Okay, once we've tamped the coffee, we're ready to extract. Now there's two things here with your extraction uh, that are the main things you wanna control. So these two things are the time the extraction is going for and the amount of uh, liquid which is coming out, which we call the yield. If you get these things right, it'll mean that you have a nice flow rate for your espresso. So it won't be running through too quickly and it won't be running through too slowly. A good time for a guide to get you started is between 25 and 30 seconds. Obviously this depends on the coffee that you're using. And personally I go for an extraction yield which is about two times the amount of dose going in. So for me I dose 19 grams going in and get about 38 to 40 grams coming out. Obviously the amount of coffee that you dose in and the ratio you get out will depend on the coffee you're using and the equipment you're using. Now for some quick troubleshooting. If your uh, shot is pulling a little bit too quickly, it means that your coffee is too coarse, uh, which means that the uh, water isn't really restricted when it's flowing through and it's flying through into the cup. What you need to do for this is make your grind a little bit finer to slow down that flow rate. Conversely, if your shot is really restricted and extracting really slowly, it means that your grind is a little bit too fine and you need to coarsen up that grind a little bit to uh, ease the pressure and allow it to flow through a little bit quicker. Remembering, of course, if you don't dose consistently, the amount of coffee that um, goes into your basket will also affect how quickly or slowly the uh, water flows through that coffee. Lastly, guys, in the end, it's all about taste and what you like the flavor of. So taste your coffee. And when you find the coffee that you really like the flavor of, make sure you know what those uh, parameters are for extraction and then follow that guide. And if you're noticing that your coffee is channeling or flying down one side of the puck, just remember to get your distribution really, really good and tamp nice and straight down. Of course, there are other variables uh, which I haven't mentioned, namely temperature and pressure. Uh, most home equipment doesn't have the ability to change that kind of stuff. So I'm not talking about that on this one. Thanks guys, I hope you really enjoyed this video. Remember that if you did, the best way to help me out is to uh, like or share the video. Um, and if your hopper is a little bit empty at the moment, remember anywhere within Australia, I'm posting specialty coffee that I'm roasting myself. So you can check that out at coffeefusion.com.au. If you think there's something that I've missed or perhaps you wanna share your espresso recipe as a comment below, please do that because Coffee Fusion is all about this community of us sharing our ideas and making better coffee because of it. And to that end, if this is your first video and you like what you saw, make sure you click subscribe because I'm posting two videos a week all about coffee and so you'll learn a lot along the way. Thanks very much guys and I'll see you Thursday for another Latte Art compilation.